there. Good. That's it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. So as they come inside of the home, the Pandora application will automatically detect that there is a smart TV present, indicated by the icon down in the bottom right near the volume bar. So if I select that, I can pick the TV that I want to start making Pandora play on there. So what this does is it takes the Pandora audio that's currently playing on the phone and transfers control to our HTML5 application running on the smart TV. While this is playing the audio up here and moving along, progressing through songs, that same information is being transmitted back to the phone, so the phone is kept up to date with what's playing on the screen. So I could do things such as look at more information about this artist. I can also do things such as like thumbs up, and that's indicated here also on the screen. Skip the song. And also I can, by using the volume bar down at the bottom, by using the volume bar down at the bottom, I can also adjust the volume on the TV itself. And this is the physical TV volume. So now we've been able to transfer the Pandora control up to the TV set. But there's another really cool thing about this, is that this is a smart TV. And this has the ability with this, their APIs to do some really cool things. So we thought we'd try an experiment with that to see how that would look. So I'll come back down to my connected TVs, and I select picture in a picture. And what this allows me to do is to have Pandora put down into a small picture in the picture while showing me what's currently playing on the TV. Coming all the way back, I can select it back out of picture in the picture, bringing Pandora back into the full screen. So there's a lot of power here to bring in a brand new user experience by having your HTML5 applications use these APIs and also connect with your mobile device.